Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create a drill through button with dynamic caption. So I already have a video on the drill through. You will find the link of that in the description and you can go ahead and watch that later on. But here we are going to create a drill through button with dynamic caption. But before that, if you are first time here on my channel and didn't subscribe my channel yet, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I upload this kind of interesting Power BI videos regularly on this channel. So let's get started. Here I am in Power BI and I have a report with overview page. So this is a sales report and which has a two major chains and multiple stores across the United States. So this is overview page about sales and then I have two pages which has a district monthly sales this and then I have another page which has a store information. So my overview page has a visual this visual and which shows two major chains and a stores under them. So if you drill down here on this visual then you can see the different stores if you wanted to see only one chain one chain then just select this button and then you can select whatever the chain you want and you can see related stores in that so that and then i have this another visual which has a district level sales so if your consumer or your manager wanted to know more about the district then you can set up drill through page for the district monthly sales and if they wanted to know more about specific store then you can choose anything here and you can show them that store information so let's get first this both page set up as a drill through page so for that i am on that page and while selecting the page not the visual then open up the format pane and under the page information this page type just change it to drill through so this is now drill through page and we need to add a field here so for that from the overview page select that visual and check what field i used it then it district so i need to give that on on the drill through page detail so on this drill through page information you need to add that field so district here so that is done now and on the second page then we want to store information from this visual on the overview page so select that visual and that visual i use chain and the store name so we are going to give information on drill through on this page chain and store number so for that again select the page and on the format pane page information the page type is drill through and then add drill drill through columns here which are store number and chain so we are done now so and you can see that as soon as you activate the drill through page you can see this back button here on both page so now you can even hide that page now go back on the overview page and let's insert the button so without inserting a button if you go to the visual and right click on it you can see this drill through option and store information on this visual you will be able to see the district's monthly sales but we wanted to create a button so people can visually see that button so for that let's insert the button so from the insert tab and the section is elements and just click on this button option and select this blank button so here is a blank button and if you want you can put it here on the visual or you can put it here as well on button format pane go to the button style and the state you can change the state here that on hover in my case I wanted to leave it as a default if you wanted to change the shape of the button you can change it in my case I wanted to leave it as it is and then after that you can check the icons 
So if you want any icon, arrows or anything, you can add that. You can change the color of the button. So let's do that because I wanted to just show. So since our visual color is blue, I will give it a light blue color. And then let's click on this action, turn it on and expand that. And on the type then, select the drill through here. So as soon as you will select the drill through, you will see this destination. And destination in this case is store information. Now let's create one measure and create a caption for the button. So for that, you just need to turn on this text section and we are going to create first our measure. So on the store, I'm going to right click and new measure and my measure name is store and then I'm just going to leave it DLTH so we know that drill through button and then is equal to in double quote C details for and then space then after the double quote use the end percent and then selected value function and choose the column which is on the visual but we wanted to display the store name so and close the bracket and enter now our measure is ready click on this drill through button format pen and on the text click on this uh, conditional formatting and then the format style already selected field value and then to select that measure which is under the store table this is my my measure and click ok and as soon as you put it that you can see here you can see here in the caption see detail for you can change the color if you like of the fonts you can make it black and as soon as I select the store you can see your caption came up in the shining blue color and with measure text see details for Glasgow Lindsay so that is the store name if you click on that it brings you here on this store information page where you can see the store information store number name of the store chain district ID city store open year 2011 and then the DM picture so and then you can see last year and this year monthly performance and the last year and this year performance by category let me show you that how it works on the power bi service so let's publish the report to power bi service and i choose the workspace the report is published so now we are in power bi service and let's try here so i'm just interested in knowing about this store i can see the button caption with the store name and if I change my store, then it changed store name here. And if I click on that, it brought me here on the drill through page for the store information. Let's go back to the Power BI. And now let's create another button for this visual. So for that, I'm going to insert the button. Again, I wanted to use a blank button that button this time I just wanted to put it here because my district name is short and then we do the same thing here so let's format this button we don't want title or anything again button will be default button and the shape let's choose rounded rectangle let's enable the field color and let's go for fish color and in action then let's turn on the action and let's add a drill through and the destination page is our district monthly sales and let's see our text option so button style on the text turn it on a text and let's create the measure now so in the district and new measure and the name of the measure district dl th drill through and in a double quote C details for and then space then end percent and selected value and column is a district and enter it 
and we have this measure ready now so let's go back to text on the button style and text now let's choose this new measure district till through and okay and as soon as we choose the district it's showing up C detail for FD dash zero one that is the district if we change the district then it changes and if we click on that then it gets to the district monthly sales let's publish this one as well so save and now a report published so let's test it on the power bi service and let's test it and it's working perfectly fine the details for glasgow lindsay and if you click on that it brings you to the store information and now let's go back and test this one this new one so i'm going to choose one of the district it shows me the caption and then it brings me to the page so guys this is all about how you can create a deal through button and create a dynamic caption on the button as well if you like the content of the video then please comment like share and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching